they were taking a look at the uh, Qualsys trial. If you don't know what it is, it's similar to Alien Vault and other security programs that help with vulnerability uh, management and things like that. Scan they scan your network. I tell you what viruses are there. Um, they provide reports based on the monitoring that they do, and they react to those reports based on the intel. As you can see in the trial, you don't get everything, but you do get two tests. Let's see, asset field vulnerability management, which is the panel or tab that we're at now. Continuous monitoring. You can set that up. Threat protection. We have security assessment questionnaire, PCI compliance, and web application scanning. Um, one of the things to know is that a lot of these settings and a lot of the scans are based on um, PCI compliance and things of that nature, directly helping you to become more compliant with government standards or industry standards and rules. One of the first main things to do that you can do, of course, is your setup. Right, they're going to ask you to set up your... Uh, scanner and um, it'll give you the opportunity to create a uh, virtual scanner if you select new that's where it gives you that opportunity to do so that this is what your dashboard looks like we haven't set anything up uh, really yet. well I had an IP address which is a virtual box that we created <laughs> right here so that's the only thing that's being used currently as the uh, host IP or the IP if we decide to scan. You can set up your own new scans over here and choose to do a vulnerability scan or a discovery scan. The main thing is the scanner, the scanning appliance has to be placed somewhere within the network in order to scan that network. Um, this discovery scan, what it will go out and do once... The uh, scanning appliance is placed in the network. It'll go out and scan all the assets on the network and start to give you an act, kind of a, you can get an asset, an asset report to know what you have. So you add domains. It'll, it'll go grab IPs, domains, um, whatever else is on the network so that, that you know. And then after it has all that information, then it will start to uh, scan all of those items. You can schedule certain scans regularly in order to provide and create a report and the way you would do that is you would go to more I'll show you manage vulnerability scans now this is something interesting just to show you in order to do all this you can uh, show the formats but nonetheless you would click on launch scan test scan or whatever you want to call it choose your target and then you give an IP range I'm just going to go with anything now Now, one of the things, if you ever decide to test this, you really need to make sure that you have permission to uh, scan the IP ranges that you're using. So, you have to add this um, IP address into the account. I haven't added any, added any IPs into the account yet. So, here's what's going to tell you. A virtual or physical scanner appliance is needed in order to scan that's what we have it set up uh, when you get to it what they're going to do is they're going to ask you whether you want to set up a scanner or not you're going to want to do a virtual unless of course you're going to that place's network or you're going to put a particular device in um, doing it virtual I recall they give you multiple options um, they allow you to use uh, I'm just going through the tab so you guys can see but they allow you to use Google's platform um, H 
Hyper-V virtualization. You're going to use an Amazon EC2, which is a scanner appliance. Um, and there's a few other choices. So there's definitely a few other. So here's what the one we created using uh, this one's on Google Platform, and we haven't connected it to Qualys Cloud pl Platform yet. The reason why is because uh, I'll tell you it takes a while to do so. Number one. But let me go, let me uh, delete it and show you the process of creating the scanner. So, up to new. Virtual scanner appliance. It's fairly easy. Just start the wizard. <laughs> All right, scanner names, they do not take numbers in those names. And again, we use Google Cloud Platform, just FYI. They don't take numbers in those names. You'll get an error if you try to use a number. All in all, I, I like Qual Qualys. I think it's a Qualys. I think it's a good, uh, I always like to keep those things. This, by the way, it's going to give you a code. I think it's a good program with a lot of options. The scanner has to activate. This takes quite some time. Um, quite some time. So we'll probably show you that in the second video. But as you can see, this is Qualys dashboard. Those are a few of the steps you have. Once you have this virtual scanner installed, that's when you can start to set up your uh, scheduled scans. First thing you'll probably want to do is a discovery scan of the IP range on that network. So you can find out what's on that network and then it grabs everything in there and gives you an asset report. But essentially, there you have it. Solid program, I like it. Um, I also like Alien Volt too. I like what both of these provide.